Hello and welcome to this new video, glad that you are here. Ok, today's video is about Angular and specifically the change detection in Angular, how does it work and what is the best practices. Angular performs change detection on all components and every time something changes in your app like user event or data received from an observable or an X endpoint, then this change will happen again and again. Okay, this might cause uh, this might not cause problem actually on a limited uh, size application, but when we go to like a big scale application for production environment, etc., then this shit could go really messy and do impact the app performance. So for this, we have what we call a strategy detection or, detection or change detection strategy in Angular, and it's implemented quite simply. So right here, what I have, uh, I'm using the default uh, no strategy detection. Just uh, let me just present to you what's going on here. I have two components, the app component.cs, and also I have a child component. And the app component does define a food uh, array of strings. And I have this added method that uh, I will do nothing. Uh, just uh, push any new items from uh, where is that HTML. I just push um, uh, any item I typed here, like uh, let's go for chicken and uh, chicken, whatever. If I hit that, then it's added right here. Simple as that. Uh, and okay, uh, okay, let's go to the HTML. We have this input with a reference new food to get the value from it and the button that do the job and we include the app child components with an input data that is uh, pointing or that we are passing the food object to it as an input. Okay, uh, moving to the child uh, component. So nothing really fancy. I'm just uh, have some uh, pre-imported stuff since I was playing a bit with it before um, recording the video so it's normal uh, and uh, what I have here I have this input data uh, okay we don't need it for now we can just change it to uh, we don't need a behavior subject for now so you can just change it to a string of uh, arrays or array of strings sorry and it's used as an input as I said and okay just keep this for later uh, we, we do nothing on the, on the ng on in it but in the html stuff we do an ng for loop to display all these items that are passed from uh, the, the app component uh, yeah the app component okay so what's happening here the problem is that as i said in the beginning of this video that every time i do like added a chicken for example okay keep typing chicken uh, Angular do like um, uh, change detect, detect changes and rebuild or uh, what's the word? It just uh, I said it before uh, change detection every time. So it perform like a check for the entire DOM and um, apply the new changes to the DOM. So to avoid that, we'll be using um, a strategy of Angular to change these detections. So I think you just messed around with this. Okay, let's go ahead to the code and hopefully I could, under, uh, could explain this better and also understand it since I'm, uh, I'm, I'm learning by teaching and this is kind of a good way to do things. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so what's, what's going to do next? Uh, okay, so the problem here that we are, we are mutating this object uh, which is food and we are pushing into it every time or every new item to it directly so in this way angular will uh, detect changes every time we do uh, like a type a new word or uh, remove any word from this uh, array or item it's better than word okay so what you're going to do now is actually uh, turn this food into uh, an immutable so we would be having a new uh, like copy of it instead of just mutating it. So to do that is pretty simple. Just remove this and change this to equal. So first of all, we need to get this dot foods and this way we guarantee that we will have the existence values and even the original version. Now, if it, let me just check back that the app is correctly working. So now if I do, hopefully I won't type chicken correctly. Okay, forget it. 
Uh, okay, it does not. It does not work because if I go back and check that the console is there any. So we have a checkered from the app component, but it's not reflected to the child's component and I will explain how to do that. So first of all, I have also to add the new, uh, the new word, the new type of word to the object, but I guarantee that I have every, uh, let's type something else like uh, carrots. And if I do that, then it's back working correctly. So now what's changed, as I said, we are mutating or we are not mutating the food object, but instead we are passing a new whole object. Okay, keep going with our tutorials. So the next thing inside um, the child component is changing um, the way we tell Angular to detect these changes. Okay, so I'll be using a change detection strategy right here uh, and it's imported at the top. So I will define change detection to change detection strategy and we have two of them. By default, Angular choose the default, which is, uh, so it use a check always strategy, meaning that every change will be like checking for new changes and this is hilarious. But instead, I will set on push and on push said use check one strategy, meaning that automatic change detection is deactivated, deactivated until reactivated by setting a strategy to default. Forget that, which means uh, it's, it's really hilarious if we go to uh, Angular default website and okay, I visited that before. And look what the heck they are saying. So a strategy that default change detector used to detect changes. Once that takes effect, the next time change detection is triggered. Uh, what the what the heck does that even mean? Strategy that the strategy that the default change detector used to detect the changes when set takes effect the next time change detection is triggered. Okay, it's not really clear, but the main, uh, the main, the main um, topic means that we are deactivating, deactivating the default change detections. So only happen when something is pushed, and we are forcing the change detection to happen, right? So now, if I type, for example, bacon, bacon x, and I hit, okay, this should still work, but it must not work because we are uh, we still using the old code. Uh, so we are actually pushing actually that's just why it's working I'm sorry so now if I uh, went back to the old code and I do that this would not work all right so if I do that then it's not working and there is no reflection of the new type of string because uh, we said we tell angular that we d just detect changes when there is a push when there is a new instance of um, that, uh, that input, which is data from here, okay? So let me just revert that back to uh, the push statement, the push way, and if we go to chicken, forget this, check it, then everything look fine right here. We could go a bit further with this. So we could use the change detector ref, so when using a change detector strategy of a push, other than making sure uh, pass new uh, reference every time something should uh, change. Okay, we can also make use of change ref for complete control. Here's an example how to use change ref. All right, so first of all, I would like to import it on the child process, which is the case right here, change detection ref. And inside our constructor, we have it already imported with a CD change detector. And inside a method that we could create, which is called refresh, for example, I would like to define this dot CD dot, and there you go. So let's see what we have here. We have check no change, detach, detect changes, mark for check, and reattach. Okay. For now, I will go to change or detected changes. So if I hover it, it says that check if or check this view and it's turned in, use a combination with at link change detection. Don't care about this to implement local changes detections. 
All right, simple as that. I will go for a console log and I will do uh, like trigger change date actions. Okay, cool. Semicolon, refresh, and uh, the next thing, when we click on refresh button, Angular run is change detection on the component. Okay, so let's go back to the view and hopefully, uh, I still did not implement that button, sorry, I'm stupid. Uh, okay, let's go for a button and on click, we'll proceed to refresh, uh, refresh, uh, okay, let's keep it as simple as that. Uh, is button what? Oh, look at that. Okay, so now if I do refresh, uh, there is nothing happen. What the heck? Added working refresh up component refresh. Seems like it's not working at all. Okay, this is a method. Great, trigger change detection, and now we are explicitly telling Angular to change detections or to, de to detect the changes. But to put this in action, uh, we need to update our, uh, our setup somehow. Okay, so first of all, we need to, um, to deny this. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I would like to change this way to uh, emitting actually in observables. Uh, so in a way we will need to subscribe and wait for an action to trigger then that data could be displayed. Okay, this, I know this has no sense what I said like uh, the couple of seconds ago, but uh, hopefully with code you will understand it correctly. Okay, so let's get rid of that and right here I would like to define uh, a new um, variable or parameter, let's call it uh, obvious. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, food. Cannot food, did you mean? Ah, yeah, damn it. This dot food. Okay, cool. OBS, and right here, every time I'll type, then I will do uh, this dot OBS dot, oh, next, sorry, dot next, since we'll be emitting now the new data, this dot food. And this way, we we'll guarantee that any component that will be uh, receiving this data must subscribe and from this subscription will be executing the um, uh, we're telling actually angular to detect the changes right so now uh, mission done here and actually we need to go to the next step uh, okay or well, actually right here we are re-emitting the whole object we could simply emit this food simple as that okay now if i go back to the child components i already have that behavior subject right here or right there uh, okay so what i'm going to do is defining a new food that will be receiving the data and inside the engine in it since i do have change detection already there and right here i'll be doing this dot, uh, I mean, before that, actually, I have to uh, define um, or change the type of this to an observable of type any. I did import it already. Great. Then inside here, I will do dollar this dollar this dot data dot subscribe. And I'll be subscribing to exactly a food. So we'll be having a food right here. And inside this food, I'll do this dot foods equals to this dot, oops, this dot foods and concatenate the new injected food. Okay. And now if I go back to the child.html, I have to update this. So instead of data, it must be food. And let's hope this is going to work. What? 
this subscribe wait a second i think i missed to update something this will be yes it must be passed as a parameter right instead of oh there you go look at that okay this must be changed to obs and this way when we do receive that data inside here it will be of type observable which is normal since we do annexed it here and here i could do the subscribe uh, methods correctly and will i have this food i'd like also to console log console log that food and what's going on there okay Okay, so it's um, it's not that beauty out there, but anyway. So now if I do like bacon, and I do added, so look what happened here. In the child process, there is a bacon, which is the word. Okay, which is this console log actually, food. And now if I do refresh, and they do it hit this, button then i will tell angular explicitly now to detect the changes okay and there you go we have bacon so if i click it again there is nothing there all right so this might not be really yeah it's explained how this change detection work explicitly but we'd like to really tell angular to automatically like update these things when uh, we do receive any uh, input from these observables so to do that again we'll be using this dot cd change detector which is a change detector reference and do uh, tell it to detect changes and i think i typed this before somewhere else all right okay great now we could get rid of this or we can just keep it for that and if refresh the page and let me say that console is everything is fine let's type bacon pasta i don't know what that's even mean and if added and there you go we have our bacon pasta updated and we are using uh, the strategy of change detection so i would like to thank you and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, maybe it's not the best on the world out there but yeah, I'll just explain something and uh, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I really do appreciate if you do comments and that kind of stuff. That feedback is really important for me. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here and have a nice day.